Hey guys, what's up, Five here with episode number 25 of Our Road to Glory on FIFA 20. Kicking it off, we're showing off the squad we will be using this weekend. Major addition is going to be Idris Gay, Carlos Vela, Josef Martinez, and Nani. Now, as for the positions they're going to play, it's a 4 1 2 1 2. Neuer and the back line are the same. Witzwitz CDM, Sabitzer as an attacking centre midfielder, Gay as our defensive centre midfielder, Nani at Cam, and up top we've got Vela on the right and Yosef on the left because of their weak, uh, stronger foots. As for this team, I think we got quite lucky coming up against this team. It's a pretty easy Premier League team, all things considered, at this time in the year. Not any team of the seasons. He obviously had the objective team of the seasons, but there was no actual team of the seasons or SPC team of the seasons. He had a inform Adama. He had a normal Van Dyke. He did have the... I think he had a red Allison in goal, if I'm um, not wrong. But Nani, he's using that five-star weak foot to advantage. Even if that was on the other side, it would have went in. Same result. Really nice run from the cam position. Ten minutes in, we're already 2-0 up. We're just... This this MLS attack is so good. It's so good. Obviously, when I use Vea... Oh, sorry, when I use Martinez, I use him in Division Rivals. I scored a hat-trick with him in ten minutes. This Carlos Vela, this Carlos Vela might be better than Josef Martinez. He just, he might be, because he's absolutely tearing it up this weekend. Um, now, this episode is going to have seven games in it. It's going to be similar to last week's first episode, where we had um, till six wins. Next episode might have a few more. And then I think I'm going to do the match review similar to what I did last week, where I just have one full match, we just review what's going on, see if we've improved, see how the new improved, um, new members of the team have improved us, but you can see, Carlos Vela, when he's on his left foot, there's no stopping it, 5-0 is going to be the score, 35 minutes in, we're 5-0 up, dominating this guy, absolutely incredible performances by ourselves, Nani, we've broke past the back line again, this time it's Yosef, again one-on-one, -on -one. we can hit him with either foot, he's got a four-star, four-star, so hitting it on the left is just as good as hitting it on the right. He did hit the post the first time, deflected back to him, and he hit the post again. But fortunately for ourselves, he actually went into the back of the net. And this guy made three substitutions, bringing on three random bronzes. And you can see we're in the 81st minute. I'm 6 new up. I'm not going to really care too much. You can see I wanted to give the guy a goal, and I didn't realise it was Barker through on goal, and he just hit it top bins right into that top left-hand corner. A wonderful, wonderful finish. But when you look at the guy that scored it, Oh, he obviously watched full celebrations and uh, replays. He had 34 shooting, and he hit that into the top left corner. Incredible. That's a goal I'd be happy to score with my Carlos Vela. Uh, but again, we're not, like, taking it too seriously. We did concede again. 6-2 will be the final score, but once again, full celebrations, full replays, full cutscenes. There's just no need, really. There's no need. I've beat you fair and square. But you've got to be a dickhead about it. There's just, just no need. But Carlos Vela was the goal scorer. He did pick up the match ball. Three goals for him. That's a hat trick in this game. Going into game number two. Much improved squad. He's got a red Ramos. Inform De Bruyne. He's got the one to watch. What was that? A one to watch Ben Yedda. Team of the season Henderson. A couple of informs. I think he's got George Best and SEN. He's also got the team of the year Trent. So a very strong squad. But. 18 minutes into the game, Carlos Vela on his stronger left foot, unfortunately hits the post, we then try and score again, somehow, somehow, he was called for a side, I'm not quite sure how, but we did sneak in ahead of Sol Campbell, tuck it home with Josef Martinez, he's got incredible finish, I believe he's got 99 finishing, 20 minutes into the game, we are 1-0 up after just, but you can see there, Adrisa Garnagay was only just coming on, it's taking about 20 to 30 minutes for that substitution to come on, really, really annoying. But 27 minutes into the game, Vela is now 1-on-1. One -on -one. Vela now makes it 2-0. He's on that left foot. He's 1-on-1. -one. He's going to finish it. His finesse shots are incredible. Same with um, Yosef. We're going to the second half. Vitzel plays the ball to Vela. Vela's just going to dink it over the top to Nani. 3-1-1 -one -on -one at the near post. Boom. 3-0. This guy's going to pause. This guy is going to rage quit. And it's that MLS front line doing it for us once again. 2-0. And we go into game number three, looking for the same results. This guy, Norma Ben Yedda with a hunter. Team of season, Alwa, Andre, and Savernia with a red Verratti, a red Oblak. Shapeshifters, Garner Gay, a um, Zambrotta, 
of Varane. He had a very, not the most strongest of teams. His midfield was very strong. His attack was okay with that um, for birthday Lamar and the normal Ben Yedda. Obviously, any version of Ben Yedda is good. And we proved that just here. Obviously, the Hunter's coming into effect there with a the pace. Five-star weak foot, lovely finish. 1-0. It's nice to know that our 96 and 91 rated centre-backs still can't deal with any version of Ben Yedda. I've been lucky enough to not actually face up against a team in the season Ben Yedda yet. As well, once, a one, once again, one-on-one. -on -one. Once again, tucks it home. Makes it one-on-one -on, -one on the scoreline. But this guy was very, very good at defending. We caught him out once. That was the one time we caught him out. And other than that, we really could not get past that Garner Gay or that Raphael Varane. Too strong for us. Too quick, too strong. Just couldn't really do anything. And then in the 73rd minute, Lamar through to Ben Yedda. We pulled our Boateng so far out of position. Into that position, ran Alwa. And he hit it on the opposite side of the post where you expect it to be. That's how you got to finish in this game. But that is a, an L, basically. We come up against this guy. A much stronger squad. Again, another red or black. Another red Alwa. He, maybe not stronger, actually. Maybe just just as equal. But one minute into the game, Vucho Bueno plays the ball to Martinez. Martinez to Witzel, so much space for Nani down on this left-hand side. He's got a man open in Vucho Bueno, making the run in the middle. And he hasn't even been subbed off yet, and he's gone and scored. Two minutes into the game, we are 1-0 up for a Vucho Bueno goal. And he can now leave the pitch for Atresa Garnagay to come on. 16 minutes into the game, from a corner, headed away by Garnagay to Davies. Davies holds it up, just taking his time, waiting for people to kind of... Return to back where they should be as Sabitza. Sabitza finds Nani. Nani's going to turn, find Martinez. Martinez back to Vela, back through to Martinez. They've continued their run. It's a two on two against the one goalkeeper. We're just going to sway it across and Vela tucks it home on his stronger left foot. Martinez being not selfish today. You don't want to risk it. If you can get a 100% guaranteed goal by doing a sway, you're going to do the sway. But Varane loses, oh, sorry, regains possession for this guy. Brandt to Ben Yedda. Ben Yedda turns, plays it through to Nabry. Skips past Carvajal, who has been iffy again this weekend. Carvajal, if we can, like, um, I'll put it on screen now. I've made a picture of all of the ultimate team of the seasons that I would like, as this guy gets a red card with his Brandt, and this pretty much sealed the deal for us. Sealed the victory for us as we score here from the resulting free kick. Sabitza just back heels it to Nani. He's got an open goal to aim it at. He makes it 3-1 and we win this game. We're going to score another one, I do believe, in this game and to add to it. But as soon as he got that red card, it took away some creativity for him. Obviously, we had the man advantage and it just helped us out so much. But I'm going to put on screen now of the players I would like and wouldn't like from the ultimate team of the season. It's actually quite a few I would not like and season 7 for the um, objectives looks absolutely terrible well done here you've, you've you've maybe killed the game earlier than it should be but we've got Varane yes, Neymar yes, Messi yes, Ronaldo yes, De Bruyne yes, Lewandowski yes Mbappe yes, Ben Yedda, yes and Sancho yes as we rainbow flick his keeper but for no's we have got Mane no because we've already got the team of the year Mane Benzema, no, because then I'd have to complete a new Real Madrid squad. I could play him at centre mid and give chemistry to Carvajal. But again, I don't know how long Carvajal is actually going to be in this squad for. Uh, Luis Alberto, no. We've got a no for Immobile. A no for Kimmich. A no for Hummels, because we've already got him. A no for Oblak, because we've got Neuer. And again, we have no La Liga players to link him to. It's a no for Trent. Again, because I've got Carvajal, and because I may be thinking of getting someone else, maybe getting Hakimi, is that who I'm thinking of getting? Then you're going full Bundesliga defence, pretty much. Um, a no for Carvajal, because we've already got him. A no for Henderson, because we've already got him. And a no for Sommer, because we've got Neuer. And I'm pretty sure Neuer, statistically, is just as good. And some even in some of his stats, actually better than Sommer. So there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Nine players that we would take, and um, I'm pretty sure four of them are 99s. No, five of them are 99s, two of them are 98s, one's a 97, and one's a 96. So that'll be fun. But yeah, if we if we get imagine imagine on Thursday we open the rewards, we get a red Henderson, Carver Howe, Hummels. And Sommer, they're the four options that pop up. Imagine that. 
I would top myself, I'd kill myself if that popped up. But we're continuing our dominance, we're 3 new up against this guy. He had a 5 at the back, I've come up against, this is the first of 2 5 at the back teams i come up against. And both of them actually switched to 4 at the back, moving one of their players up into the midfield. This one moved Komen into the midfield, the next one you, uh, I believe pushes Trent into the midfield. But he scored a sweaty against us, I was actually pretty disappointed to concede that one to that red De Bruyne. Um, and then we just went down the other end and scored ourselves a sweaty, showing that him, we can score a sweaties as well. But uh, I feel like I've come against Red Bonner twice. The first guy that had him was a regular blue De Bruyne. He was very, very good. He does definitely, definitely deserved that De Bruyne. This guy was not that good, and I don't think he doesn't deserve that De Bruyne. I, I deserve that fucking De Bruyne, you know? Uh, as we make it 5-2 to end it off, once again, Carlos Vela will be picking up the match ball for four goals from five attempts on his left foot. Incredible. If you have the coins, if you have the disposable coins to pick this guy up, I would recommend doing so. He is he's a game changer. As we go up against another good squad, he has got Tots Neymar, Tots Griezmann, Tots Red Tots Di Maria, Red Tots Lala. Very strong squad. But six minutes into the game, Sabitz is taken out by Hernandez. Hernandez gets a red card, down to 10 men almost straight away. At halftime, I've had no shots against his 10 men defence. He moved, he took off his Lutmanen and he brought on a Jordan Henderson, played him at centre back, but he kept a Ramos at right back. Surely you'd bring the Ramos across and be Henderson with his high high at right back. I don't know. But 47 minutes into the game, Nani finds Vela, Vela finds Martinez back to Vela, and an outside the boot shot past Steve Mandanda. 1-0. Absolutely brilliant. So, for our first shot on target, we scored. I know I complain about scoring the first shot on target so much, but I've kind of realised it's just being clinical. There's a difference between being clinical and not. And as here, we do a ball roll past Ramos, but he takes out the man instead. Vela steps up with his 99 penalties. We tap it, going for that bottom left, uh, right-hand corner, sorry. Keeper goes the wrong way. 2-0. On the score sheet, we now got a 2 0 advantage against 10 men. We should be able to see this one out. And in the 68th minute, we win the ball back with Garner Gay. He runs away and he actually quits the game. And because it didn't pause, I'm assuming he either turned off his console or closed the application. But that is five wins on the board. As we go into game number seven, as I said, another team with five at the back. He's got the Lucas Mora. He spent a million coins on that Lucas Mora. I'm just going to say it now. What a fucking idiot. You can get a Richarlison that's tradable for just as many coins. Probably even cheaper. But six minutes into the game, Josef Martinez makes it 1-0. Continuing his goal scoring form, he has been just as good as Carlos Vea. Well, actually, if we look at the stats, he's actually been half as good as Carlos Vea. At 17 minutes into the game, Lucas Moura using his pace. That's really, like, you can get other strikers that are just as good as him. But we do win the ball off of him. It goes straight to Ansu Fati. And Ansu Fati switches across to Jonathan. Lucas in the box. He tucks it home and he shushes us. This guy shushes us. And you know, whenever you get shushed, it like it pushes a trigger in your mind where you just take the game a little bit more seriously and you want to beat the person you're playing. And well, that's exactly what we did. Carlos Vea plays the ball through to Josef Martinez. First shot blocked. Second shot by Vea tucked home into the open net. And um, don't don't give what you can't take. We're going to shush him. We're going to watch full replays. We're going to watch full cutscenes. This totals up to about 40 seconds of cutscenes and replays and celebrations. So, yeah, don't give what you can't take. We win back the ball 61 minutes into the game. Fernandez plays it to Witzel. Witzel is going to hold it up. Just look at that. Look, he breaks the back line down so easily. Carlos Vela, we got the man to the side. He's repaying him for what he did earlier. Josef Martinez into the open net. He tried to take me out with his defender. That would have been a red card, a penalty. Probably would have tucked in the penalty. And he would have had 10 men, so maybe I would have preferred that. We block the ball there with Lucas. We then block it again. But he still holds possession. He's going to shush us. I thought the debt was paid by me shushing him. He apparently fought not. He should have just watched full replays and cutscenes, even though he'd only just leveled it. He'd only made it 3-3. He wasn't ahead. He wasn't anything. It was 3-3. Going into extra time. Uh, we brought on Fuenzalida at this point, but Josef Martinez holds off Thiago Silva, plays it to Fuenzalida, back to Josef, back to Fuenzalida, 1-1, one -on -one, tucks it past him. I'm not going to shush. I'm not going to dab. I'm not going to watch full replays. Psych. I'm going to shush. Um, 
And then just before halftime in extra time, Thiago Silva loses the ball to Garnage. Josef Martinez through to Fernandez on his stronger left foot, tucks it past the keeper, makes it 5-3. We're not going to shush this time, we're just going to stir the pot. Just going to stir the pot. 107 minutes into the game. Now, watch very closely here. He wins the ball back with Visca. He's got men in the middle to aim at. He's going to cut it back to Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos is going to play the ball to Fernandinho through to Immobile. He's going to tuck it home with Immobile. He's not going to shush or dab or watch four replays here because he's losing. He was trying to be toxic on purpose to try and win the game. He's through here with his man. We win the ball with Boateng. We're going to go right down the other end. We're going to finish him off, make it 6-4 in extra time. You can see Josef Martinez has broke the defence at this point, running through one-on-one. -on -one. He decides not to call his keeper out. We punish him for that. We make it 6-4, uh, six wins. And that's going to be it for this episode. So far this weekend, Carlos Vela has got 14 goals, 4 assists, and 5 player of the matches. Josef Martinez has 7 goals, 8 assists, and 1 player of the match. Nani has 4 goals, 10 assists, and 1 player of the match. And overall, we've scored 28 and conceded 11, going 6-1 and one in the process. Hope you guys have enjoyed. If you have, please like, subscribe, and peace.